హాయ్ అండి ఇంటింటి వంటకి స్వాగతం ఈరోజు సమ్మన్ స్పెషల్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు మేక్ సంథింగ్ స్పెషల్ ఫర్ అస్ ఎవరో కాదండి మా హబీ మా హస్బెండ్ శ్రీకాంత్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు ప్రిపేర్ సంథింగ్ స్పెషల్ ఫర్ అస్ ఓకే లెట్స్ వాచ్ అండ్ లెర్న్ హౌ ఈస్ మేకింగ్ హాయ్ శ్రీకాంత్ వాట్ ఆర్ యూ ప్రిపేరింగ్ టుడే Okay. Uh, you can call it a flavored uh, brown rice. So, I've already cooked uh, the brown rice and uh, put it in a soaked bin. So, I mean, the... You filtered the... Bin. You drained yeah, the water. Yeah, I drained the water basically. And uh, the ingredients which we need are uh, uh, capsicum. Okay. Carrot. Okay. There were already some soaked uh, chickpeas, so I took them. And uh, some garlic cloves. Chopped garlic. Chopped garlic cloves. cloves and uh, this is uh, jeera okay so this is for, this is my secret ingredient this is called as maggi masala and a tinch you get, of you get it everywhere you get it in supermarkets yes okay and a tinch of uh, uh, turmeric okay so basically in my cooking i usually use this turmeric and a bit of garlic so that they'll take care of your digestion part but if you don't get this uh, maggi masala anywhere and what you can do is you can uh, take a garlic and ginger paste uh, if you don't get the paste you can uh, take garlic ginger uh, grind it and uh, you can use any garam masala and uh, you can use it instead of maggi masala but the maximum we will try for this thing yeah the taste uh, is uh, very different if you use maggi masala This is basically my secret ingredient in the cooking that I use. And I also use onions. So onions I did not chop this properly because I wanted to show you a uh, instrument which will make this into finer pieces. Uh the other important thing is uh, uh you should make uh, all the pieces little small so that it is easy finely for chopped. you to finely chop so that it will be easy for you to eat. Okay. Okay. So what do you do with this onion then now? So for uh, any meal it is little difficult uh, to actually cut uh, the onions so there is uh, it is very difficult to cut finely chopped onions finely chopped onions yes so you are going to use this i am going to use this just put cut the onions put it in this machine apply the tool uh, so this is easy for uh, any of the persons who are uh, like uh, if it is difficult to chop onions so yeah see the onions are getting finely chopped once it is completed i can show you how finely they are chopped open the lid so that's how finely they are chopped finely so, chopped yeah it is easy if you do it more you will you can get more finely chopped. finely chopped it is very easy and uh, with this process you you are not going to get tears from your eyes yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay? okay so i'm taking one uh, what do you call this a pan a pressure okay, okay then uh, bandi a uh, kadai <laughs> 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 so basically i'm taking kadai i have already uh, uh, heated this uh, a bit so that uh, it is ready for cooking okay okay i'll take i'll take a bit of oil you can take uh, i mean since you are uh, eating brown rice it uh, uh, so mostly it is a healthy food so uh, you should prefer olive oil since i don't have olive oil i'm taking a regular uh, refined oil. refined oil or groundnut oil 3 uh, to 4 tablespoons of uh, okay oil oil the first thing that you need to put is onion Okay. 
see how finely the oils are chopped. Yeah. You should mix them well. Yeah. It will transfer in color. Well, when you are eating brown rice, uh, you should not bother about uh, the well. vegetables are properly fried or well. half boiled or cooked or what. So, naturally, if you are eating brown rice, it is uh, good that uh, those are half cooked because half cooked is always good for your health. Okay, now I will take some jeera. Jeera I am using very little. Okay. Okay. Then I'll take uh, the olives. Uh, sorry. Uh, garlic. The garlic. That finely I chopped garlic. Finely chopped garlic. Garlic actually gives a very good essence to your uh, cooking. But yeah, guys, if you are uh, using olive oil, uh, you will be having some kind of different smell while cooking. But yeah, it is little healthy. Tasty. Okay. Healthy and tasty. Actually. Now I'll uh, put all the other vegetables. Other vegetables in it. You can use no, other vegetables also other than carrot and capsicum. See, uh, just an onion, jeera, and uh, maggi masala are very sufficient. But if you want it to be little more colorful, a little more tasty, maybe tasty, then you can use whatever the vegetables of your liking you can use green peas right yeah green peas is good and even uh, corn yeah frozen corn and frozen peas are good i'm also using uh, chickpeas very small quantity maybe a fistful of uh, chickpeas Then I'll add a bit of salt. This is for a taste. Okay. So usually, if you are eating brown rice with dal or any of the curry, you will be feeling like a cha karan kind of feeling you will get. But if you prepare your brown rice uh, like with any of the flavored rice. Then you will start liking the brown rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it is a regular brown rice eating with dal or sabji, it will be very difficult for us to eat. It will be like, uh, what are we eating, grass or what? <laughs> yeah. But this kind of um, dishes are very uh, tasty. We even don't know that we are eating brown so rice. So as I said, I am uh, fond of using turmeric and uh, garlic in my dishes. I just added the... Uh, Pinch of turmeric. A pinch of turmeric. Yes. So basically, this is a safe cooking if you add turmeric. So it doesn't uh, harm your stomach and stuff. Both uh, turmeric and garlic. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll add my secret ingredient. Which is Maggi Masala. Maggi Masala. So uh, don't be bothered uh, about the veggies cooking. You can. Uh, you can even use half boiled veggies. Yes. So since uh, I'm preparing the food for two, I've used. Uh, Two Maggi Masala packets. You get it in the form of powder only? You get it in the form of uh, Maggi Masala like that? Or, uh, you can also, you will also get in form of cubes and also in form of powder. Best way is to, even if you get cubes, you can powder them and uh, put it so that it will mix very well. Okay? 
You see the smell? How delicious it is. Yeah, they can't see. They just they just they can see, but they can't smell maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'll add the the drained and cooked brown rice. Drained and cooked brown rice. Okay, I'm preparing this for two, mind you. Okay. So how much quantity I took? So there is a measuring here. There is a measuring. So there is something called as rice over here, and I took uh, one two cup fifty, of two fifty grams of rice. Okay. <coughs> and I add the. Uh, The same three glasses of water. Now since we have rice in it, there is no issue if we add more water also. We drain it, right? <laughs> yes. So even if there is uh, more water, once uh, we, we can just uh, take a uh, take some rice. Yeah, and take some rice it. and uh, if it is like uh, if it is cooked, we can we can drain the water. Even if it is like eighty percent cooked, then even then you can drain the water. So slowly this will turn into colorful brown rice, flavored brown rice. So since we added the turmeric too, so this will turn a little yellowish color. So I'm already waiting for the recipe to come out. I'm hungry now. Yeah. So the same rice instead of adding turmeric, uh, I mean we can add turmeric, but instead of uh, adding maggi masala, uh, if you add uh, a bit of uh, vinegar and uh, what, what is soy that? Sauce. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Then uh, it is a uh, fried rice for you. Yeah. Yeah, the vinegar. See how colorful it is turning out today. Vinegar and soy sauce, it would become uh, shiny, right? Yeah, it would become shiny. If we add uh, some seasoning, yeah, it would become Italian. <laughs> yeah, maybe oregano or something like that. It becomes an Italian food. See how colorful it is turning out today, right? Uh, now I'm going to turn off my stove. My cooking is done. Tasty, tasty brown rice. Special brown rice is ready. Thank you.